Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Willem. I'm here at the Audi dealership. Just reviewed the Audi R8 V10 performance. Also reviewed the new S e-tron GT. And I'm here actually also for the Audi Q6, which I'll be telling you more about in five minutes in this short review video. In the weekend I'll also be making a test drive. So if you want to have like the full review and test drive, you can go watch that. And say to all of you, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to LRDX Cars and enjoy this five minute review of the Audi Q6. Make sure to subscribe for the test drive that's coming. Enjoy the video. Six sits right between the Q4 e-tron uh, test drove last year and the Q8 e-tron we also uh, reviewed last year. It shares the platform with the Porsche Macan, the new full electric Macan. They call it a um, platform for electric luxury vehicles. So you'll see it more also on the coming Audi A5. You, they will be using that uh, platform. Um, the battery they're using is a lithium ion battery that produces 800 volts at 100 uh, kilowatts an hour. So it's the same as we saw in the e-tron GT, the more sporty Audi you can buy a full electric. You see a total new design here for the Q6. Way more sporty headlights, very small, tiny headlights. It's closed off to the blacked out grill with the e-tron badge and cool matching number plate. This person has ordered. And here, even underneath, you have like your nighttime running lights and your fog lights. No open air intakes on the side because it's not really needed. Then they say a claimed range of 475 kilometers, but you will all know that when it's a bit cold outside, then it will be more like 400 kilometers or if you're driving it a bit sporty. But if you drive like very efficient with it, 600 kilometers can maybe be done in summer. So that's quite a, a good thing. It's better than the Q4 we last reviewed. The car weighs about 2400 kilos, which for an electric car isn't that bad and you have you see here on the back the beautiful rear lights by Audi, which is quite nice. If you start the car or close the car off, the light really runs from the side or from the center to the side, which is quite a cool look. Typical Audi. You have 500 liters of boot space. I'll open up in a minute. I have the keys on me. And you can tow like 750 kilo on brake or brake 2400 kilos. Like you see a car for five persons to sit in. And looks a bit like an SUV, not as big as the Q7. With the keys here, I'll press here two time to open that boot up. Because that's quite interesting, it's a family car. Here underneath, no spare wheel, but still some storage space to put like your charging cable quite decent here you can also pull this forward of course to have even more space on the inside it's quite a cool thing automatically closes back off again a good look here quite sporty the audi e-tron lights and here this sort of design Stripe, which makes it quite aggressive on the back. Or the same lights as you have on the e-tron GT, so uh, cool lights. Then here on this side, automatically opens the charging port up. And the cool thing is, you have it on both sides. So it doesn't matter where you park your car. It wants to open. The keys are on me. Do it like this. Yes, and it opens up. So you don't need to re-park your car if you're not with the nearest by charger. Of course, a camera here, 360 camera view. 
bottom belly closes back off. And of course, a lot of space here on the back seats. A lot bigger as the Q4, we saw before. Here you have like real decent foot lace or lace to put your legs. If you're six feet tall, you can even sit in here, two meters tall. We have some seat heating on the back, cool air conditioning and quite big. Here this panoramic view. Quickly turn the camera that you see that I also have a lot of headroom in here. Still 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters left. So comfortable here on the back, good view all around. Then you see here also in the front, total new design here over the front. Like you don't have it in the e-tron GT, you will also see in the coming video and the past video. Like this full screen. Display. I'll go in the test drive, of course, through all these buttons to tell you all about it. Even on the side, you have your light switches and the new switches in a different design as normal. But a, a good look here. First glance of the inside here of the Q6. The a pillars Q6 e-tron Quattro. You can also go for just a rear wheel driven Q6 if you only want that. It will be like the get-in version, the rear wheel driven one. Then you read it here with a total new display, not only a virtual cockpit, but integrated into the center display. Looks quite nice. Here home, navigation. Even here the passenger display, like I was saying, which has all functions, time, apps, navigation, connect your phone, Apple CarPlay, of course, but you can also put it off right here if you don't want. The distraction here, you have it very clear, total new navigation system, different than you had in the e-tron GT or in the R8 that's next to us. Can do it like this touch screen, give an address in, easy as that. Then you can also connect your phone, like I was saying, some vehicle settings, a lot of safety features here nowadays on keeping a lane, keeping distance of the car in front, some information about your charging, how much charging is left, how quick it was. You can, of course, do like 30 minutes of quick charging and the car will be full and then you can change here your view whatever do it want navigation information telephone information radio information you can all find it here cool that you have like the small q6 right there the steering wheel some audio functions cool that this is the s version of the q6 so a bit more sporty no carbon here, but it's sort of a woven ladder of finish all around. And yeah, very clear, good view. Cool looking uh, inside, quite modern. Your switches, off your seats, lights and mirrors all in one. It's a thing you don't see that often. Here your mode engager. You even have the B mode if you only want to use one pedal. And your 360 degree camera view. I was saying, quite easy. To use even bigger if you would want that. Let's see back again. Yeah, cool uh, look, cool first look here. Cup holders, charging ports right there.
Dat is de quick walk around, de quick view hier of de new Q6. Like I said, in the weekend I'll be making a test drive in it. So make sure to subscribe if you want to watch the full review and test drive. A test drove a Q4, but it uh, will be interesting to see if it's really a bit more comfortable, more sporty to drive, better range. So uh, make sure to watch that. And let me know in the comments what are your first thoughts here about the Q6. I quite like the design from the outside. It looks good, but we'll see how it drives. Uh, nice modern Audi. And uh, big thanks for watching to all of you. I'll see you in the last drive video. Also make sure to watch here the R8 video and the e-tron GT video. I'm also making a Lotus test drive this week, so a lot of fun videos to come. So big thanks guys, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!